Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to simulate typing text in CC++. So if you're interested, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am on Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on File New Project. From this dialog, make sure you have 132 and also 132 console applications selected. And let's call this one Type It. Click OK. On this page, just click Next. And make sure you don't change anything on this page. Just click Finish. All right, so now we have a basic console app. First thing I want to do is I want to include a few header files that we need. Include standardio.h and also include windows.h I'm going to be calling this from the command line therefore I'm going to need the command line parameters to be passed in here so define integer argc on char pointer argv I'll show you how to use that in a future video all right so for now what we want to do is simulate somebody typing on the computer so I want to implement a function called type, for example. If I say, hi, how are you? Okay. Then maybe type another message of your going your day. And then maybe just also type the new line so that each one goes on a separate line. So let's see how we can implement a function like this that doesn't just print out on the screen, but actually simulates a user typing. So let's say type. I'm going to take a const char pointer p. First thing we always check for is if this is null, then we don't do anything. Simply return. Otherwise, we can say while contents of p, we're going to print out one character at a time, percent %c, for each character, cont p++. Once we print out the character, we also want to print out like the cursor. We can use this character here, or we can use a solid like cursor like this one, as you can see here on the screen. So this is, I'm going to use a special code for so backslash hexadecimal db. Now what we want to do is we want to sleep for 30 and this number is in milliseconds. After that, I want to just, you know, simulate blinking the cursor by typing backslash b. This moves the cursor back one location, print out the space and then backslash b again. And also just to slow things down, we need another sleep here. Once the whole thing is done, we can just say sleep 300 so that the next type statement doesn't start immediately. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's see how it goes. Control F5 on the keyboard. Compile and run, yes. But now as you can see, it's actually simulating type. Let's, let's do that again. Maybe you should slow it down a little bit. 60 here, 60 here. Control F5, yes. Now it's like as if somebody is typing. Alright, so that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. In the next video, I'll show you how to read the file and then start typing out the content of the file on the screen. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.